Steph, you're going to go first this week, okay? okay? I have pre-selected three different scenarios for the three of us, and um, you tell us if this person is guilty or not guilty. Are you ready, Steph? I'm ready. Okay. The defendant has hooked up at work. Has the defendant hooked up at work? Judge your friends. JC, is the defendant guilty or not guilty? Mm, I'm going to say that Steph is, oh, this is hard. Because with the radio, work kind of expands outside of a studio. Maybe she was at an event or something or at a concert for the radio station. Um, but I'm going to say that Steph has not hooked up at work. She's been tempted by the fruit of another man to hook up at the office or <laughs> somewhere else. Perhaps a boyfriend mm, getting frisky. But she, uh, there's a, a, a conservative side saying, you know, this is the office. Let's not do this here. So I'm going to say Steph has not hooked up at the office. Okay. The, the verdict is in from one, one of our jurors and he sounds not guilty. Not guilty. Okay. I am also struggling with this one. I don't know. Because I feel like maybe did you work with James or did you guys just meet through dance? We worked together, but through dance. Yes. Oh, so it doesn't have to be at a radio oh, station. What a great question. <laughs> Should I elaborate a little bit more that when we were working together, we were not together? Oh, she's dropping hints here. But everything starts somewhere, baby. (laughs) (laughs) It's very true. I'm going to say with this new information that was just submitted as as evidence A, I hope someone, you know, got that approved. But I'm going to say Steph has hooked up at work and she hooked up. I was just thinking radio and radio only, but she was a dance teacher. And maybe if it wasn't James, maybe it was one of her other, maybe she had another dance boyfriend that we don't know about. I'm going to say she is guilty. Guilty as charged. Okay. Steph, will the defendant please rise? Yes, I'm rising. Do you have been accused of hooking up at work? Are you guilty or are you not guilty? So... My husband James and I have been together. We've only been together while I've been in radio. So when I started radio, I've only had James. And I did hook up with James at a previous radio station. Oh, really? Guilty. 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 This guilty. was guilty. not guilty. at this building. This was in another building. I'm not going to say which one because maybe they're listening and they're saying, well, that's disgusting. But it was one of the the offices. All the way? <gasps> oh, Steph! Some things I have to keep private in my life, okay? Oh. Spice in your life. Were you not worried about anyone showing up? I did overnights. Oh, I did more than overnights. <laughs> <laughs> I did overnights, and I I stayed at the sta- I lived at that station for uh, for a very long time in my past. Oh, wow. that's awesome. And then the morning show came in after you into that same studio. I also did mornings, too. So, <laughs> Man, I don't know if the station was called Hot something. <laughs> hot 112. Hot 101. Hot or James. Jammin. Jammin. <laughs> Oh boy. Smooth jazz station? It was not. It was not. It was a top 40 station. Wow. Mm, that's top. very. <laughs> oh, God. Top 40. Top 40. Top 40. I'm I, seriously, I am stunned. Wow. So it was a radio station. Okay. All right. Judge your friends. Okay. <sighs> I'm up next. All right. <sighs> the defendant has been accused of dating someone. Because they had money, is the defendant guilty or not guilty? Have I ever dated someone just because they had money? Steph, what say you? (sighs) Mercedes, you don't look like the gold digger type. I'm going to say not guilty only because I feel like you're very humble. You go out with people for the right reasons. You're a great person. I'm going to stick with my answer, not guilty. Well, JC? Those are very kind words, but man, we haven't, we haven't known each other very, <laughs> very long. True. Just kidding. No, very true. Very true. We haven't. <laughs> now, someone that's known Mercedes for more than half his lifetime, let me, allow me to step in here. Yes, please do. What do you think? <laughs> okay. Um, 
Was Mercedes ever out and about and saw a guy and said, mm, he's got money, hi. I don't think so. But I do think where maybe you were in a relationship with someone and you weren't happy and you're getting ready to break up, but you're thinking, and then starting early, earlier off in your career, college days of like, you know what? This guy Thomas, though, we do some nice dinners. We have an, uh, he's taking him a concert in a couple weeks. That maybe you extend the relationship a little bit longer than you'd like to because you're getting some financial benefits in return. Like a dinner or a concert or something. You're ready to break it off, but you thought, you know what? I have no money. Thomas takes me out to dinner. Thomas is going to take me to a, a concert. I'm going to stick around with Thomas for a little bit longer. So I'm going to say guilty. Guilty. Okay. So the verdict is in. We've got one non-guilty juror and we have one guilty juror. Will the defendant please rise? Defendant, you have been accused of dating someone because they have money. Are you guilty or are you not guilty? I am not guilty. I knew it. I couldn't see you. I only date poor guys. <laughs> I'm serious. Whenever I dated guys, I, they always, none of them had money. I was always the, the one who had to pay for everything. Matt was the first guy I ever met that paid for anything for me. I dated a bunch of losers before him. They, I couldn't find a rich guy to save my life. <laughs> Darn it. Never, never, <laughs> never experienced that. If you have, I, I wonder oh, man. what it's like. But yeah, I, I just dated poor guys. <laughs> Just four guys. <laughs> They're the only ones that liked me. Oh, okay. Hey, money's not. It doesn't matter. It's what's inside. Exactly. It's not the size of the wallet. It's the it's, size of the heart. It's true. It's so true. It's the size of the heart. <laughs> All right. If only we would have found a rich man. <laughs> if I found a rich man. <laughs> la, 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 All right. Would you have, though, like you're in college and you see a guy and he, he hits on you and you realize he's got a lot of money. Would you have hung out with him just for some of the benefits if I, it was presented to you? I, I don't. And the reason why is... In, in my experience, and I don't think all rich guys are like this, but the ones that I ran into that were like that, mm -hmm. they were very arrogant and uh, about flaunting their money. And that just is a major turnoff to me. I just, I don't care if you have a ton of money, if I'm going to have to deal with that, it's not even worth the money in my opinion. <laughs> it's not worth the dinners and everything yeah, else. Exactly. All right. Fair enough. All right. JC, you're up. Oh, I'm up. Okay. Okay. Will the defendant please rise? You have been accused of being blackout drunk before noon is the defendant guilty or not guilty i'll go first knowing jc for more than half of my <laughs> life <laughs> i love this line um i know he was a big partier back in the day i he 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 all would go out with his buddies all the time. They loved to go to the Monte Carlo Brew Pub, mm -hmm. Utopia. Yeah. Yes. Like those were his. What was that gigs. club he talked about earlier? Raw? Raw. At the Luxor? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was all about that club and lifestyle. That was him. <laughs> um, that being said, I feel like he's always kept his alcohol under control. I mean, I've definitely seen him drunk, but I don't think that he would ever get to the point of being blackout drunk. Much less before noon. I don't even think that you have gotten blackout drunk. Maybe, well, you did that one time when you were woke up in the hotel room and your dad was sitting there, but that's a different story. Um, I don't think that was before noon. Oh, this is a story I need to know later. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to say not guilty. I do not think JC has ever been blackout drunk before noon. I'm going to go not guilty. Okay. Steph? JC, I've only known you a couple years of my life. Mm -hmm. But... From all the stories that you say on the air, I feel like there was a time when you went back home for the holidays and you haven't seen your buddies in a long time and you guys missed each other. You're ready. The first thing you do when you wake up, you go somewhere to someone's house or maybe to a bar that's even open that early. Get black out drunk and you don't remember the rest of the day. So I am going to say guilty, JC. Guilty. Wow. All right. Interesting. Please rise. The defendant is on the stand. Yeah, I'm JC here. JC Fernandez, you have been accused of being blackout drunk before noon. Are you guilty or not guilty? I'd like to say, Your Honor, first off, I am just, I am blown away by the details that uh, one of the attorneys present presented in front of me. My gosh. I am... Not guilty. Not, Not guilty. guilty. 
And here's the thing, though. I, I only blackout drunk once in my life. And Mercedes, it was the coat uh, when I was a <laughs> first ever Christmas party. When I worked at the inn, I was underage. I just went wild. Blackout drunk. I don't remember half the night. The next, what I do remember is waking up in one of the hotel rooms at the inn, in bed, some vomit in the bed, and then looking up going... <laughs> Oh, why is my dad in this room? <laughs> that's not something you want to wake up to when you're 18. That's the only time I was blackout drunk, and, and that happened after. That was at night. So, Mercedes, you are correct. All right. Wow. I'm so, I'm just so in shock by the story. Did your dad get called because you were so blacked out drunk and he came to the room? Yeah, it was just, it was a mess. It was a company Christmas party. I was 18, working at the inn, and I wanted to get a cocktail. So, I asked all these people that were older than me for a drink. And sure enough, they all deliver drinks. And so I I just got drunk really bad. And first they put me in the coat room of the restaurant. uh, And then they decided they need to move me to one of the hotel rooms. And they called my parents. Instead of saying he was drunk, they said I had food poisoning. And it's best that he spends the night. They're trying to cover for me. They're trying to cover for me. Uh, And my dad quickly picked up and he said, I'll be there in the morning. And um, I don't remember going to the room. I don't remember falling asleep. I just remember waking up. And there's my dad. He showed up in the morning. He's like, give me a key to the room. He walked into that room and you reeked. He's like, oh my gosh, this, my son is not food poisoned. Oh He's my drunk. gosh. It was the worst feeling Aww. ever. If tequila was food, then yeah, he was definitely food poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I had, to, I had to write an apology letter to the owner of the inn. It was a whole thing. And that was the only time I got blackout drunk. Wow. I learned a lot about us. A lot about us during this session of Judge Your Friends. That was some good stuff. That was JC. good. He, uh, he had one bad episode, but other than that, he was good. Steph, a little naughty. Yeah. <laughs> once and only once. Mm. And me, before I found my husband, dated the Hoosers. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>